Hey everyone, Zef here, and welcome to BAM Overview. So this was like a launch title for the next generation mixed reality games, pretty much. How next gen it is, I don't know yet. I will leave my impressions for the comparison, because it's not like I'm trying to force myself to like it, but I just need to find a sweet spot with actually enjoying the gameplay and figuring out if there's even a point to do it in mixed reality. So BAM is a multiplayer brawler arena game where you descend onto the battlefield to compete with other robots, fight with them in close combat using upgrades and constantly changing environment to your advantage. Meta's kind using it as a flagship for the MR experiences at this point and to me the game is just fine because it's very entry level for anyone that wants to get into this tech and find out yourself if you'll enjoy it. I did not like that there's no guidance whatsoever, no tutorial, no instructions or just the overall UI doesn't just help the situation with clarity of what's going on like it was more confusing than ever. It has single and multiplayer, few arenas to play few bots that unlock as you progress playing it. When you will finally get into the groove with the mechanics and that will take like approximately from 5 to 10 minutes, then there is just not much to it. Like the gameplay becomes stale, very repetitive and too quickly boring to my taste. It is something different because it's put in the mixed reality situation but outside of that nuance is just a basic third person brawler that doesn't have much to offer in the long run. It's a pretty cool showcase as the first like official applications that use MR in general so I'm just hopeful in the future we'll have more complex stuff going on and actually something you play more than five minutes ever. <laughs> Let's go to the arena! Jesus is loud. I think I just need to start with place in the actual arena or whatever. I don't know what's going on, like where's the tutorial? Kinda hate the UI. Cause you can barely recognize what's what. I mean, something's flying. Characters, private match, online. Um, I guess this. Bots, yes. What? Okay, I mean... Kimmode Crown... Bomb... I don't know what's going on, like... What's nice is that I can modify Arena whenever I want to, but... Something's happening. <laughs> what is going on? I think I need to take the crown from his ass. I have jumping, punching. Ah, okay. The timer is set by the length you have it overall. And when you lose, it doesn't reset, so everyone has like a timer to pass by. Get off me. Drones. <laughs> Burning. 
I like that punching dashes you forward as well, even in air. Okay, I would still appreciate the tutorial because I barely know what's going on. I think this is like the arena style. So we have like three flying balls. <laughs> it's just so weird shapes. And let's take something else. I just wish there would be some instructions going on because intuition and stuff like that can can only get you so far like here is the start I'm assuming I need to punch them out of the boundary I can like move while in gameplay as well. Run from the explosion! Jesus, the music is giving. Don't block me. Flying army. Pew, pew. Super punch. I mean, I can just wait for them to destroy themselves. Uh-uh. Don't touch me. It's swirling, man. Oh no. <laughs> Drones. This may be also similar to... What is it, Smash Bros? The more you get hit, the more damage you take and knockbacks are bigger. Wrecked. But so far there's only one character, what about the others? How do I like unlock them? This is randomizing like my outfit. I have no idea. Let's do the last mode. Oh, this stage is very far from me. But I love that you can just size it up to your own preference. It's just jumping and punching, like that's the essence of the game. So what's this about? I need to give them a bomb for me to not die. Pew, pew. Bye bye. I mean, it's kind of boring because one person has to chase everyone else. Come here. Wait, what the?
No that's sneaky. Fine. I mean, when you play it yourself for like a couple minutes, then you'll eventually get what's going on, but there still could be some instructions or just anything really in general, because the game doesn't explain anything at all from itself. Granted, it is simple and some people will get a hold of it quicker than the others. And in terms of the content, we have the multiplayer with three modes on five stages and that's like all i'm also confused how to unlock the other characters i guess by playing yeah this is the level up bar i wouldn't even know if i wouldn't like think about it really so overall i think this is okay like i hate the ui with a passion i don't know who chose this kind of like glowy rubbery icons essentially need to really close in and read what some mean because you won't notice it's showcasing mr well though so i guess that's the purpose of it i just love that you can resize it to your own needs and spin it around however you want and everywhere in your room